Hello everyone and welcome to this week's short video tutorial on basic mid game tactics. This example would be the fifth example from section one of chapter four, which is which deals with the topic of trading material. Uh, this, as mentioned before, this is from the free ebook that's available on the World Energy Federation website. Uh, the URL is given below. So without further ado, a simple analysis would show that. Red would have two chariots, two cannons, and two horses, five pawns, and a full guard. Black would have uh, the same amount of material. Uh, Red would have adopted the five six cannons, while the black would have adopted the five seven cannons formation. Uh, in this bot, it would be black's turn to move. So, <coughs> how should how would black attack to gain material using the tactic of uh, trading material. So h6 plus 4 uh, would be the first move. By moving a horse over here, the horse could be prepared to go for the elbow horse attack and it will also threaten to capture the black, uh, sorry, the red chariot and also apply pressure on this flank. Red will usually uh, defend with r7 minus 2 to prevent his chariot from being captured. Now, in the book, R9 equals to 2 was given, as suggested by the, uh, it was also suggested by the computer. What would happen if black played R9 equals to 4 instead? Red would, medi would immediately uh, change his formation, and the 5-6 cannons would now be protecting this flank, and black would lose material, because uh, the, the cannon will now be threatening the black ch chariot and if it moved away the cannon could move and or this horse would simply just capture the black cannon so black would lose material in this situation so uh, another move that the computer program uh, at a useful analysis suggested was h3 plus 2 to link the horses up at this point, uh, Black would have a slight advantage of almost 200 points. So in the book, uh, P3 plus 1 was advocated. However, this move was a little bit uh, questionable. The main idea was to play P3 plus 1 so that the horse could attack the Black Chariot. However, uh, R2 plus 5 was suggested as Black would try to uh, maintain the integrity of his position, of his formation. Black could play h7 plus 9, red would advance the chariot, and black would continue with h3 plus 2, and this would be a rather even situation. But in the book, uh, p3 plus 1 was played. Now, this would not be a good idea because although red was threatening the black chariot, black would use his chariot to trade for two of uh, red's major pieces. So, can be seen, Black would have used his chariot to trade for two of his major pieces and also allowed his horse to reach the angler horse position. Now, when the horse is at this position, it would control two intersections, namely the centroid and uh, this intersection in Black's palace. So the Red King would be essentially immobilized. And threat of a angler horse checkmate would be now very evident. So, Red would usually have to protect or try to defend in this manner. But because but by doing so, the horse will now, Black will simply attack with his pawn, adding much pressure over here. So, if Black captured the pawn, uh, another variation will be A5 equals to 6 to try to consolidate the defense. But, but in doing so, the Black pawn will be left to attack and it will become a terrible menace. Let's say red tried to defend in this manner, trade of material, but the pawn would, be, would have been allowed to advance so far into red's territory, and as can be seen, uh, red would now be in a losing position because the solitary advisor was now under attack by the chariot and the horse, while the two red chariots would not be able to provide or offer much defense at this moment, and the threat of losing the central cannon was very evident. Hence, in the main line, R H uh, E1 plus 3 was given, 
red, black woods simply gain material or offer a trade of material. So uh, let's say red continue to trade material. Black could now play c5 equals to 4. This is to, <coughs> to get a central cannon that was pin pinning, that would pin black central file. So red will try to retreat his chariot. Black could not bother about it and go for the checkmate. And this would, uh, the moves ended here in the in the book because red can only retreat and this would be an angler horse checkmate. So, a short recap. This was the initial position. Uh, the first order of business will be for black to play h6 plus 4. Now, red, red, the chariot would be threatening the chariot, so red would retreat his chariot to safety. And uh, r9 equals to 2 was the advocated move for attack in the book. Uh, this move is a little bit questionable because black would eagerly trade material by using his chariot. And after trading material, black's position was to be under much stress. So black tried to defend and the issue of the pawn will now be a big, big problem. Now, capturing the pawn or not capturing the pawn will lead, both lead to dire uh, situations for red. So this is today's short video tutorial. I hope you like the work that I've been doing. Uh, if you like my channel or the work I've been doing, please subscribe to my channel and I'll be doing as many videos as I can within my time schedule. Thank you.